let's talk about how to design an optimal count min sketch that gives us as accurate of counts as possible for our specific context. So remember, the two parameters that we can choose are k, which is the number of rows in our count min sketch, in other words, which is also the number of hash functions, and m, the number of columns in our count min sketch. So these are the two parameters that we want to pick. How do we pick these optimally? Well, let me define some variables first. Let n denote the total number of elements in the stream. So whatever stream of data in which I'm counting elements, n is the total number of elements in the stream. And note that it's not the number of unique elements. It's the total number of elements, so the sum of all of their counts. So yeah, every element that I'm going to see that I want to count, that's n. C sub x is the true count of element x. And C hat sub x is the estimated count of element x. So remember, our algorithm for estimating the count was, let me take the minimum of all of the counts in each row that x could potentially have had. That minimum is our estimated count. And remember that our true count must be less than or equal to this estimated count. OK, so I want to find the optimal values of k and m. We've defined these things. And specifically, what does optimal mean? Well, I want my estimated count. So my estimated count is definitely going to be greater than or equal to my true count. But I want my estimated count to be less than or equal to my true count plus some additional upward range, where n here is the total number of elements in the stream. And then epsilon here is just some upper bound scaling factor, some factor that that factor times n gives me an upper bound on how far away I could be from my true count. And specifically, my estimated count will be in this plus epsilon n range with some probability delta. So I have to pick these two values to be appropriate for my specific context. And if you think about it, basically the tighter my range of error and the higher the probability of success, so the smaller this delta, the more accurate I will be. So I'm going to list some equations that I'm just going to produce here. I'm not going to derive them because they're non-trivial. If you're interested in how these equations are derived, I would suggest reading the original count min sketch paper. Um, but basically, the process is as follows. So if I want to design my own count min sketch, so I want to pick optimal k and m. First, I have to guess the value of n. So how many elements do I expect to encounter? Depending on my context, I might know this in advance, or I should hopefully at least have some idea of what order of magnitude it would be. If I'm unsure, I should always overestimate this. OK, once I've picked some guesstimate of n, the next thing that I can do is pick a reasonable upper bound. So pick a reasonable amount larger that my estimated count can be. So in other words, the estimated count minus the true count, what is a reasonable upper bound? Which, remember, is equal to this. So pick this. And because I already have chosen n, if I pick this, this dictates what epsilon needs to be. Right? So n, I guessed. I define this range, and I already guessed n. The range and n define epsilon. OK, the third thing that I need to do is pick a reasonable probability of being in 
this range, which remember was one minus delta. So pick a probability. So I wanna be 90% sure that I'll be in this range that I've just picked. That would mean delta is 10%. I wanna be 99% sure that I'm in this range that I've picked. Delta would be 1%. So pick the reasonable probability of being in this upper bounded range, and that defines delta. So now I can, so this equation, I'm just gonna show you, I'm not gonna derive it. This is something that you can find in the paper, but the optimal value of M, the number of columns, is the ceiling of the fraction E over uh, epsilon, where E is Euler's number. So E equals 2.71, whatever, it's Euler's number. And the optimal value of K, the number of rows, which is also the number of hash functions, is the ceiling of natural log, maybe I'll write it out and then I'll put the ceilings after, natural log of one over delta ceiling. So again, I'm not gonna derive how you get these equations. Feel free to refer to the original Countman sketch paper because that's a bit out of scope, but I get these nice clean formulas that I can just plug in my value of epsilon and plug in my value of delta. Now with this, I can def uh, design an optimal count min sketch for my purposes. As you might imagine, the smaller we want our range of error, right? The smaller we want this range of error, the bigger M would become. So I would have to use more columns to minimize this range. And similarly, if I want this probability to be bigger, I would need delta to be smaller, but the smaller my value of delta would be, the bigger K would be. So I'm trading off basically, I have to, if I wanna have a, a tighter range, I have to create more columns. And if I wanna have a higher probability of being in that range, I have to create more rows and therefore hash functions.